What's up my single chaps? Today we got a GTA 6 video for you. Like and share and let's check it out. Apparently we have a full map leak as well and we have this video that has been made by Dark Space. Let's uh let's check it out. This is the ability to see just how big the map is going to be and in the video, which I'll show you guys some snippets of it right now, he's actually able to put a 3D modeled version of the Grand Theft Auto 5 map as well as the Grand Theft Auto 4 map Damn. side by side. Bro, no way GTA 4 map is that small. Oh my God, bro. I thought it would be bigger than that, bro. Like, And you can see that the GTA 6 map, based on what we've seen so far, which it's probably going to be bigger than this, is bigger than both of these maps. God damn, okay, damn. And it better be big, because obviously, bro, that Lucia Bruna needs a bigger map. If the map is small, bro, how else uh, that Bruna is gonna be able to carry itself around, right? You know what I'm saying? Like if you agree, Combine, guys. And we also have the ability to basically put each one of them inside of the Grand Theft Auto 6 map, Holy. which is just insane. So this- And we also got a leak map coming up, guys. Stick around till the end for that. Really should not be a surprise at all that the map is going to be larger than its previous Grand Theft Auto titles. That's basically what Rockstar has been doing since Grand Theft Auto 3. They know what they're doing with all that get, bro. It better be big, bro. It Grand Theft Auto big. Vice City was slightly bigger than Grand Theft Auto 3, not by much. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was bigger than Vice City. Technically, Grand Theft Holy Auto 4 is lib. Dude, like, whoever made this, I, I know it's like Dark Space. Uh, shout out to Dark Space 110% for like putting this video together and making that out because, like, this takes serious skills, guys. Like, holy. You know what I mean? We gotta appreciate this one real quick as well. Uh, and, and the fact of the matter here is this, right? Like, GTA Y City, GTA 3, GTA San Andreas, Liberty City, uh, Y City Stories. I'm not sure. There were so many Grand Theft Auto games Bruh. that came out during the PlayStation 2 era. And how many GTA games we got during uh, PS3 era? One? PS4 era? Zero. That's... <laughs> Zero, zero GTA game for PS4 era, dog. Liberty City was smaller than Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, but there was certainly Strong, way independent. more detail thanks to the game being on the Xbox 360 and being introduced into the yeah. HD era. Oh so I feel God. like with that, Rockstar tried to provide. I, I know, bro. I could have already imagined. Like I didn't even need to see like that. You know that that the the, the the trailer overlap on it. I could have already sensed where it was. Damn, bro. I did watch the trailer <laughs> a lot. I think more with less and then in Grand Theft Auto 5 we kind of saw all that combined not only did we get the bigger style map but we also got a much more dense world filled with a ton of things to explore and I forgot to mention Red Dead Redemption 2 even though that was for the PlayStation 4 it is Rockstar's most up-to-date modern map and the entire yeah Red Dead Redemption was the only game that we ended up getting on the PlayStation 4 isn't that crazy yo is it me or you guys feel the same way that we should have had like at least uh uh five billion more games for ps4 uh, from rockstar games like do you agree come on bro like i cannot be the only one dog like having it one just one game that's such a slap on the fans face and the reason that happened you already know gta online ladies and gentlemen yay gta online and we recently had that massive source code leak as well and through that we actually discover bully 2 was in development but came up. yeah they shot that second down as well there was an agent game that worked on it for years. We also had its concept art leak, uh, which I, I, I've seen it with my own eyes as well. So that is real as well, but they shot down agent as well. So agent, a project they were working on, Gonzo, okay? And God knows what else they were working on because so far we've been find out, we've known these two games were in the, the, the works and they also had eight DLCs for GTA 5 that they canceled Bruh. for GTA Online. Yeah, 100, dead ass, bro, like dead ass. I, the I, original I compute, Red bro. Dead Redemption map fits inside of that. It's basically Wait, the what? entirety of the original Red Dead Redemption map fits inside of that. It's basically the entire southwestern portion of the world that you get to explore as you get a little bit later on into the game. So oh, Rockstar what? certainly made the most out of the PS4. Now they're getting to bump up to an even better more yeah, guys map leak coming up stick around to uh, stick around for that stick around for powerful map set of up. consoles so i certainly expect big things and i think in gta 6 they're going to push the limits of that the only thing that might hold them back 
is that they're gonna have to make this uh, kind of the tail end of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox yeah. Series. And then they're gonna remaster for PlayStation 6, bro. Like, X holy man. I mean, when 2025 <laughs> rolls around, they're those gonna... consoles might be here for another year or so. And then Sony and Microsoft will be moving on to what's next, whether that be the PlayStation 6 or whether that be the... X and we're actually, we're hearing rumors that we're gonna be getting the PS5 Pro by the end of this year. Uh, that's what we're hearing. Do you think you're gonna buy are you gonna purchase because like initially i was like do you think that's gonna happen but now nah, bro like at this point it's gonna happen right because the leak came from tom henderson he leaked a bunch of other stuff he was the first guy that leaked the lucia bunda dog like he's the first guy to leak that and he also did leak that playstation handheld you know that uh, the playstation q handheld looks like a psp but it's not a psp you need to have a playstation 5 in order for that to work you know j just it just crazy thought right like could you seconds let us play that PlayStation Q, that PSP handheld, without having a PS5. I know, shock, I know, crazy, right? That's that's crazy, that's a crazy thought. Never, never done before. Hint, hint, PSP, they, they used to, and they have done it in the past. Uh, PS Vita was also very, very good. I remember buying that as well. But this PS uh, PlayStation Q handheld was leaked by the homie. He also did leak that PlayStation Slim. Initially, he did say that, or in fact, he's kept saying that it's not gonna be playstation 5 slim it's gonna be a playstation 5 redesigned without the disc drive and guess what that also did come true it's not the playstation 5 slim but i know that you guys and myself included we all call it playstation 5 slim because that's kind of like what it is but internally they're not calling it that because even they know they're doing a daytime robbery to the fans okay that's what it is so this game is probably gonna get remastered for ps5 pro as well let's be real xbox uh, for for that is fine but playstation PlayStation 6 is probably going to well. PlayStation 7, I don't know, guys. Series Z, I don't know what they're going to call it. That might be the <laughs> only thing that's going to hold Rockstar back, but it really does look like this map is going to be absolutely massive. And another Yeah, he meant to say Series S. I, I do believe that Series S might hold it back, though. The thing is it really does look like they have modeled this perfectly. Like if you take a look at Google Maps or Google Earth or whatever, Crazy, you'll yeah. see that a lot of the things we saw Holy. in the trailer are essentially modeled directly after buildings, landscape, architecture. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it would not be surprising at all if Rockstar also modeled the map roughly on the shape of the state of Florida. Now, yeah. they haven't really done that in previous games. Like for example- Man, it's insane how real the game is looking through the trailer i just hope that the gameplay is like that as well i know one of the ex rockstar animator guy did say that what you see in the trailer is what you're gonna get in the game we're not talking about like other <laughs> like cyberpunk devs or any other dev company that actually faked their trailer we're not talking about the day before the stand before and don't don't I, I know there are a lot of fans of cyberpunk cyberpunk right now is actually very very good Bruh. you know what i'm saying it's actually very good let me send some kishish to my homies uh, that are actually playing cyberpunk not saying cyberpunk is trash but let's be real they lied <laughs> with that gameplay trailer that that trailer was fake if you if you did not know yeah that trailer was fake now let's actually jump in on the the, the map leak here okay let's uh, check this florida out. here i do not think it is going to look 100 percent like the state itself but i do feel like it's roughly yeah. The life indication that was added to the map from trailer one is the scene where the Leonido man is being chased in front of the gap. For context, this is still a work in progress. So a, a group of a community, Reddit detectives, Twitter detectives as well, you know what I'm saying? They are putting this map together with the help of the actual GTA 6 trailer. Surely we had the GTA 6 leaks. Uh, they have took inspiration from that. But this one, uh, and we have seen countless amount of map concepts that have taken inspiration and directly they have taken from that gameplay leak to make the maps that we have seen but this one specifically is taking areas that we have seen in the trailer and we've seen like its initial uh, version well, we're still in the infancy stage but now this map is uh, getting better and better because they are finding out new details and they're putting it on the map and uh, shaping the map out because you if, if, if you want to get this map from Rockstar games you gotta wait decades for it okay with that with the leakers with the uh, with the reddit detectives you get it right now.
gas station, this location was actually added to the map. And if you're wondering where that takes place on the map, it's actually just outside of the sort of Vice City city limits. Okay. It's above Little Haiti and also going to be to the west of the Sunset Island. So it looks like that happens right outside of sort of the mainland main area. That was one of the funniest one moments from the trailer. Okay, Sunset Island is right here, Little Haiti there above the Sunset West here. Maybe this gas station he's talking about, I'm not sure. Bro, yeah. can our brother get a zoom in? Can a brown man perhaps see like a red circle here? Cause y'all suckers be dropping red circles on your thumbnails. Can I, can't you not drop? Can't you just drop it on the map here too, huh? Like if you agree. That's for sure. The location of Hank and Dome Hill was also adjusted based on some new evidence. This is towards the north part of the map. We okay. only actually saw this in the leaks. Hank Hill, Domed Hills. You actually see this near the Red yeah, right. Hill. Yeah, right here, right here, boys. Where my mouse at? Forest as well as Lake Leonida. This is kind of a part of the world that we haven't really seen explored yet, really other than what we've seen in the leaks. I feel like okay. other than a few shots of the Everglade in the wilderness, we didn't really go up north and mm, maybe what we yeah. would see in like the panhandle area of Leonida. So I hope they- I mean, up north, it's gonna be a little bit cold, right? So Lucy is probably gonna get a little bit of and that Burna is not gonna be able to carry itself around uh, in the northern areas, right. like especially the mountains, you, you know what I'm saying, right? Explore that a little bit more going forward, but that is the Hank Hill and Domed Hill areas. There's also a bunch of new buildings that can be seen in the Port Gellhorn area based yeah, on new there? and old evidence. And if we okay. go over there, you can see that it is much more populated and the Port Gellhorn oh, airfield damn. has also been up. Man, there's a whole lot of detail, but at the end, I do believe that all of these buildings are probably only gonna take like you know, two kilobytes of data. Bruh. But that Lucia Bunda is gonna be taking 10 billion gigabytes of data, bro. And guys, click on this video on the screen. We actually had a ton more gameplay leaks. And let me tell you, man, it is looking really, really good. I'm ext uh, extremely hyped for this game. Click on this video on the screen. On the left, though, I got a secret video. Check out both of these videos, and I will see you right there.